Well, good morning. I'm Father Michael from Our Lady of Consolation, and it is the Feast of the Epiphany, which is a very special one, because the Feast of the Epiphany, the revelation of Christ and the wise men arrive at the side of the manger. And this is what Matthew has to say. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising, have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, Land of Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you will come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly aside and ascertained from them the star's appearance time. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, And go search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. Behold, the star they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves. They did him homage. They opened their treasures, offering him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country, by yet another way. And this, my friends, is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's a great story. It's one that we all find heartwarming. The three wise men, most often pictured in our minds under our own Christmas tree or on the uh, years ago on the television set, right? And they're approaching the stable. Um, again, <clears throat> kind of like a diorama that we remember as children. But in reality, um, three pretty tough guys, smart. They were not about to give in to Herod. They knew him for what who he was and who he was. And they went and they did the child homage, and then they went off on their own, in their own direction. They didn't do anything to compromise the safety and the well-being of the child. They held that experience in their hearts. We don't know whatever happened to the wise men, but one can safely ascertain that their lives were changed, that following this unbelievable meeting with Herod, that nothing was the same. A meeting with the child, nothing was the same after that. Uh, wise men were um, perhaps, uh, in a, they were learned in astrology and astronomy and a few other um, of the sciences, whatever existed at the time. They were trying to figure out the world trying to figure out how things worked. Uh, they knew literature of, of other cultures, and uh, they came to the side of the Christ child and knew that something really extraordinary here was being revealed by God. And that's where we come in. We understand what they could not know. This revelation that God placed in our midst, this child Jesus would grow up to become Jesus the Christ the savior of all of us, that this child who they were kind of trying to figure out like, what is the sign here? We know it's special. We saw the star. Uh, it would be up to generations to come to truly, really come to understand that this is God's revelation, that the child Jesus was God's salvation coming into the world. We shall name him Emmanuel because he will save his people from their sins so many other titles, ways of calling out to Jesus. Each one of us knows what they are, but in a very personal way, Jesus calls to our individual human hearts and we respond, maybe quietly in prayer and reflection on the beauty and joy of Christ, but more often than not, by <coughs> acts of faith, hope, and charity performed in the world. So there are many ways in which we recognize the Christ who's present to us. But let us remember that at this very holy time of the year, we celebrate the giftedness of God, that God loves us so much as his children, 
that he would send one like us, a child, a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, cared for by a mother and father desperate to protect him from Herod and other dangers. That's what we celebrate, my friends. But remember that that child grew up. He is now the Christ crucified, risen from the dead, and present in all of our hearts as the pathway to salvation. Take care. I'll see you next week, and may God bless you all.